Welcome everyone to the first video of this course where we'll be building a full stack app using Next.js, GraphQL, Prisma, and TypeScript. Now this course is not just on YouTube, but it's also on our blog. So if you go to prisma.io slash blog, link down below, you'll find the course split up into multiple parts. These blog posts will be kept up to date along with the code. Now let's take a look at the app we'll be building. The app is called Awesome Links. It is an app where users browse through a list of curated links and they can bookmark their favorite ones. So right now I'm on the homepage and I fetched two links. This page supports pagination. So we're not loading all data at once. So if I click more, I'm fetching two more links. If I click more again, I fetching, I fetch two more links and then I've reached the end. So these are all the links that are inside the app. Now I'm logged in. This is I had done using auth zero. We'll see how that's done. And I have my own like bookmark links. So if I go to slash favorites, these links have been bookmarked bookmarked by me. Uh, now, say I want to bookmark another one. So I will go to this link and I can click bookmark and it's been saved successfully. So if I go to my favorites, I'll be able to see it and it's been added. So now I'm also an admin. Uh, so if I go to slash admin, which is a protected route, I can create a new link. So let's call this um, test link, uh, my awesome link give it a URL of like just example.com. A category will just make it like, I don't know, a test. <laughs> and then let's upload an image. Uh, I'll just pick this picture and it's being uploaded. This is done using AWS S3. And this image has been successfully uploaded. So now I can create a link. So I can click create and link successfully created. So if I go home and I fetch more, I'll see there's more links to be fetched. And then there's this test link. So I can also go to it, I can bookmark it, and I can see it in my favorites. Now there are many ways to build full stack apps, a lot of different tools, a lot of frameworks, a lot of languages, and this is just one way to do it. Now the objective and the goal of this course is to show you how the different pieces fit together. And for this to act as an example or a reference, if you want to use this stack. So yeah, we'll see how to build this app. It covers a lot of ground. So there's pagination, image upload, authentication, authorization. So you're going to learn a lot and I'm excited to show you how to build it. So see you in the next one.